my beautiful darlings I am out here waiting for my stretch limousine you know and I was just looking at a quick TikTok and uh, this guy was talking about divorce and how majority of the divorces are issued by the women and the three main reasons why divorce is 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 so uh, prevalent today is because of irreconcilable differences financial problems and cheating infidelity those are the three main reasons and he's also bringing out the fact that the number one reason why households are not working out is because of the men now this is a man saying this so i'm not male bashing at all you have a lot of men this day and age who they have to admit it they have to own it majority of these marriages are not working out because men don't want to do what they're supposed to do now let me give you an illustration when you think of a ship let's say a ship and the ship is out of order when the superiors come on board or on deck who are they going to come looking for are they going to come looking for the crew are they going to come looking for the how you say the women and the children no they're going to come looking for the captains and that's exactly the way Jesus Christ sees it. Jehovah God and Jesus Christ sees it. They blame these men for the reason why households are out of order. And I'm not saying that they're supposed to be abusive and domineering and controlling. No. Whenever you run into a man who is not submissive, since they want to throw that word around, okay, let's throw that word around. Submissive. He's either submissive or he's abusive it's one or the other because Ephesians chapter 5 verse 21 makes it very clear very clear out of reverence for the Lord respect for the Lord we are supposed to submit to one another the head of man is Christ does he submit to Christ if he's not submissive sweetheart you don't have let me tell you what you have on your hands you have a very very selfish narcissistic abusive man and that's a red flag and like these men are saying this day and age also they want a woman who's going to be their peace my question is are you bringing her peace if you want peace that's guaranteed to come back at you baby if you are her peace what kind of things are you doing that's taken away from her peace like they say if you want a happy life you better make sure you have a happy wife if you're still insistent on getting married. And I'm gonna post the gentleman later on today or tomorrow where he's making it very clear that the reason these households and these marriages are not working, 99.9% .9 is because of the men. And that's the same way Jehovah God and Jesus Christ sees it as well. And any captain, like I said, and let me reiterate that point, he comes on the ship, baby, and this ship is out of order. Everything on this ship is out of order. We're coming for the captains, baby, not the crew. Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle.